Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys. Welcome back to the channel. I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that'll encourage you to be your very best self. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. Today's $20 Tuesday. And during $20 Tuesday, I like to showcase super cute, yet super affordable hair and fashion finds for the lovely $20 price range and below. Today, we're gonna talk about this wig on my head. I did post it on my Instagram like months ago y'all was like yo what hair are you wearing i was like okay i'm gonna bring it to the channel i'm gonna bring it so finally i sat down and i have it here for you and let me just say that i absolutely love the way this looks in a half up half down style so i was like you know what let me just come on to y'all tuesday and show y'all how i get it styled like this now if you are new to lock wigs get familiar okay because i've tried quite a few of them on my channel all of them are from amazon i will link the videos that i've done already in my description box so you can check it out after this video. One of my favorite lock wigs is actually a headband wig that I tried and this has gotten so much use. I remember, I think it was summer 2020 and I wore the hell out of this headband wig. I will give y'all an update on this one after I showcase how to style this one. Now if you're curious about what I'm wearing, I'm not wearing clothes today. I'm actually wearing a bathing suit because I was in the middle of filming some TikToks showcasing some new bathing suits I got from Amazon. And let me tell y'all, I am so, actually I'll just show y'all right now. Like this is what the bathing suit is looking like y'all. Y'all can't tell me nothing when I wear this. I have this in two colors right now and I, where is she going? I'm actually going to Jamaica in a few days for me and C's five year anniversary. It happened in June, but we're celebrating right now in August. So I'm super excited about it. And yeah, I had to get some new swimwear. An actual swimwear video will be on the channel at some point in August. So you know, y'all can do what it do. But if you're interested in this, I'll link it down below. So let's talk about this hair. I have no complaints about this hair as far as the locks themselves. They look super realistic, very natural, literally like starter locks. I'm just gonna take it off and show you what the construction is. You'll see inside here, it's like a netted cap throughout. It does have adjustable straps that I have very tight. Now, the thing about this wig, I wore this backwards. I'm gonna take out this little pony that I have so I can show y'all exactly what I mean because sometimes you just gotta finesse these wigs. I'm gonna show you what it was looking like when I first got it out of the pack and I'm sure it's what some of y'all have been experiencing because on Instagram <laughs> y'all been asking me like yo can you please put up a tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing. Mine looks crazy. Yeah it's gonna look crazy. Whew. Straight out the pack when you get this wig right when you put it on frontwards this is what we have this this is what's happening this is what it looks like <laughs> when you take it out the pack right and you're probably like what is going on <laughs> you know this is what the back looks like and now mind you also i have on a beige wig cap i don't have any more brown ones i need to get some new ones so right now you're gonna see my wig cap at certain points, but trust me, if you just get a black wig cap, you'll be good to go. It won't be showing. So, this wasn't working for me. So I was like, you know what? Let me just turn it around. This is what it looks like when you turn it around, and you'll know that it's turned around because the adjustable straps will now be in the front, okay? I turned it around like so, and this is what I was working with and I was like okay I can work with this but I'm not leaving it like this when you wear it like this you will definitely notice some gaping here in the crown area again wear a black cap okay wear a black cap so I'm gonna show you how easy it was for me to style this the way I wanted it let me move up close so I knew that I wanted like a bang effect here um, while having like some of these twisted up. So literally, it just went like so. And hopefully I can replicate this. <laughs> oh, for y'all, because you know, sometimes you do things once and then you do it the second time and it don't look exactly the same. We're going for two out of two here. I just like, you know what, I think this is enough. I'm going to grab this 
And then I have my scrunchie here. Twist it up. And you can actually opt to wear this like in a little bun or leave it out. It's up to you. The bun is okay, but I was like, no, I want to leave mine out. I go like this. And this is when I just start pulling. You see? Now, this is how I got that style. Over here, take some finessing, okay? <laughs> You'll probably notice I pulled out a bobby pin earlier. Just imagine I'm wearing a black cap, y'all. I'm so sorry I don't have one. What I like to do here I always feel like I want to put pin up more so either I could have just done it right the first time or I can grab a bobby pin and just pin it okay I think that's what I did the first time and that is pretty much it y'all that's how I put it up in a half up half down style I have bangs in the front and I soup up the sides into a ponytail. This is what it looks like here on the side. Yes, there is gaping because one, I'm wearing this wig backwards. It's not supposed to be worn backwards, but I'm making it work. And I'm telling you, when I wear a black cap, it's it looks way more seamless. See, this is how it's looking over here. I hope y'all can see that. There is some gaping, but that is why you need to wear a black cap. I can't stress that enough, y'all, because I don't want someone to be like, oh my God, how do I get rid of the gaping? You can't get rid of the gaping. It's going to be there because I'm wearing this wig backwards and it's not supposed to be worn this way, but we're making it work because the way it was looking out the pack, that wasn't working for us. See, thought it was like the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I was like, I'm trying to look like you, boo. I'm trying to get locks like you, boo. <laughs> so let me know in the comments what you think about this style. Now, I just want to give y'all an update on this lock wig that I wore out to the ground. First of all, look here at the difference. These are the same color, but you can tell that this one is way more worn. That's what I like. The older that it gets, the better that it looks, the more natural and seamless it looks. This is after, hmm, I wore this for a summer. So like a good three months of me wearing this <laughs> like every other day. And this is what the starter locks look like. I just want to get y'all a nice little up close and personal shot. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's nice and full and it's a headband wig. I want to just show y'all what it looks like real quick before we close this video out. And you'll notice that I have red in my hair because I was rocking a burgundy headband wig and I spray colored my hair and the spray is still there. I haven't like fully washed it out yet. But yes, y'all, this is, please ignore the burgundy, <laughs> but this is the wig. You can check out to see how it looks fresh out the pack in my other videos that I'll link in my description box. But I just think this is so freaking cute. <laughs> So cute. It's in the middle. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. The best part about these lock wigs is the price. Like the one that I showed y'all first that I put up in a half up half down, that one's $19.99 on Amazon. And this one, I believe is like $23.24. The prices fluctuate, so don't quote me, but look at this. Look at it to the side, look at it to the back. And this is still holding up really, really well. I love how natural this looks, y'all. And y'all know me, like, natural styles are my jam. Look at how cute this is. When I do this type of style, there's a little bit of gaping there, but not as much as the first wig I showed. Oh, I look absolutely adorable. <laughs> so what do y'all think? Are we doing lock wigs this summer? Have you tried one already? Let me know in the comments. If I've inspired you to try it before or maybe right now in this video, please let me know. You know I love when y'all chat with me. Overall, this is still one of my favorite headband wigs. It's so easy, breezy, and 
fun, it's spunky, and it's like not all over my body. You know, it's summertime. I know a lot of y'all don't like feeling hair all on you during the summer. I think this is a great option if you just want to keep some hair out of your face and still look uber cute. You feel me? If you're new here, you see me for the first time, consider subscribing to my channel. Join the family. We have a lot of fun over here. And if you're curious about more of my headband wigs, I'll make sure I link my headband wig playlist. I have reviewed so many synthetic and human hair ones that I think you will enjoy. There's something for everybody in those videos, so definitely check that out. And if you want to see some of my latest videos, you can watch them over here to the right of me. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram on TikTok. Is that your hair with three R's? I'm very active on there. And I'm getting back consistent on YouTube. So thank y'all for your patience. I love y'all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.